Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today guys I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on Pencil 2D, how I do my animations and well my drawings. So let's start with the tools. First, this is the selection tool here. And then alright, let me start in I will start in order. Okay, so guys here here is a brush tool, the tool that I actually use to do my animations. I run it more than the pencil, which is this. So this is the brush. If you want to for the size, as you can see, max size here. You can make it as whatever size you want. The feather, I don't really want to go into the feather, but it's basically to. Alright, I'm gonna just show you. It's basically to to make it have more feather. See, you could see the difference, right? Just look at the outside. That's more when you want to like color clothes or whatever. Okay, so yeah. So now say you make something like this and you don't want to out it off with the rubber. I mean, you could because the rubber could go up to 200 in size. But if you don't want to, there is this little cloud thing. It's not really a cloud, it means it's like a kind of. It's a clear tool. You just press it and it clears everything for you. So, the next tool I'm going to be showing you is, so, you got a face here, alright, I'm not going to put too much effort into this face. Alright, so you got this face here, you have this hand, this little hand tool here, you can use it to move the whole thing, even if I add the f this here, like just say I add this, I still wouldn't be able to move just one part. Alright, so say so guys, I want to just move the face. See the square tool here? You use it to select the part you want to move. And you press the selection tool here and you can move this part. Okay. So that's mostly all the tools, but next tool we have here is a. Uh, hold on. Okay. I don't really know what the smudge tool is for, but I don't really use it. If any of you know what it is for, then you can tell me. Okay, so then there is the paint bucket, which used for painting. It's it's more effective on the um, pencil than on this. In this, you gotta click it like a lot of times just to fill up the gaps. So yeah, this is the paint bucket. Oh, we got one more tool that you can use for drawing. It's a kind of pen tool. It looks similar to uh, the uh, pencil tool. See? And I think you can color it the same way. Just a little more light. Sorry guys, I still got a cola. I don't know why it's not going away. And then there's the eyedropper tool. The tool where you can like get the color or whatever so say you input an image here you can test the image you know and a tool I like to use mostly for doing background images like say put a uh, say I input an image and I have it here and I wanna trace it over then I use this tool but this tool is a little tricky to use especially you gotta keep left clicking every time you try to join something because if I don't left click this is what will happen so see it just automatically goes into place not like I want <laughs> anyway guys alright so I guess I showed you the onion skin or how to add frame so you press this little plus sign to add a frame you press this one to duplicate a frame and this one in the middle is to remove a frame <laughs> So that's mostly it. Nah. Just I'm just gonna do a little drawing as I'm here. I'm just gonna do a drawing of an eye or something like that. Yeah. So you guys can like see the tools. Running on load this space, I don't really care about that. It's 
still too small. What about this? <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like here. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna do a drawing tutorial soon and I will tell you about these things here. <laughs> but for now, I want to show you guys one last thing. So, guys, there is some called ex import and export. So, if export is for like if you do a work here and you want to save it or you want to export it out on one of these things in a form, <laughs> but import I want to show you. So guys, say you have an image that you want in here as a reference or maybe, I don't know, it's up to you guys. You press on import, you press image. Now guys, the file must, the image you're going to take, it must be PNG, it must be a PNG file. If it's not a PNG, it will not work. Because I tried JPEG and all these other files and they... They never seem to work. Okay, so let's see. We got okay. Which one should I use? I'll use. Hmm. I'm use the Ken Kaneki. Okay. So as this, as you can see, guys, it's a PNG file because you can't really see any background here, so you know it's a PNG. I know, guys. You see this here. So. You can actually use this as a reference when you are drawing here. You can use the face, and like I said, you can use the tools to cut the parts of the body, maybe to add it on another body or something like that. That's just creepy, but still, it's up to you guys. Okay, let's just undo what I just did. So, I hope you guys can, I hope you guys found this kind of thing. Anyway, and if I add another frame, maybe I can kind of trace this over. Let's see. Just do a little trace. Let's see the face. I'm just gonna do it in blue. Okay. See, it's working properly. Let's try the eyes. Anyway. But, so I showed you guys how to do this. Well, I didn't say you could actually mess around with the colors. You can even out it off if you want. Anyway, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I hope it was, like, helpful to you guys. So this is how you use Pencil 2D. And I'll make another tutorial on animating and all that stuff. Like how to animate and get these shades perfectly and all this stuff. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next, oh, one more thing, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.